sixth race, the $50,000 final of the Father Foley Memorial Trotting Series. They're at the post, and here they come. And they're off. Good start for everyone, and Sonoran Sunrise edges out toward the lead. Hootie and the Fish on the inside second. Victory margin will take back early, and he'll angle toward the pylons from third. Sundown score settles in behind him fourth. Rum Boogie is parked on the outside fifth. Oakley Harrison is sixth to her inside. Then it's Rare score seventh, followed by Over the Blue and Spitfire Ranger, and it's Sonoran Sunrise who will set the tempo here, and he's comfortably in front by two lengths at the quarter and 27 and one. Hootie and the Fish is second, and Victory Margin is starting up on the backside for Lachance, so Victory Margin will make an early move on Sonoran Sunrise, and these three are well ahead of the rest. Sundown score, another three lengths back and forth. Oakley Harrison can't keep up right now, fifth. Rum Boogie is sixth as Victory Margin now clears the lead. Seventh is Rare Score, over the blue, eighth on the outside, and Spitfire Ranger trails the field, so Victory Margin did not have to work all that hard. He's taken the lead. The half was in fifth. 56 and 2. Sonoran Sunrise sits right on his back second. Hootie and the Fish is third and edges to the outside. Sundown score is racing in fourth, picking up live cover Rum Boogie. She's getting carried into it second over on the outside. And with three eights to go, it's victory margin. Hootie and the Fish is taking it to him on the outside. And these two are now stride for stride. Sonoran Sunrise trying to shake loose from third. Rum Boogie trying to keep him in, but dropping back. And Sundown score slides past her to fourth, three quarters, 126 and two, and they come to the top of the stretch. Hootie and the Fish is getting up between them. Sonoran Sunrise is angled out. He's charging hard. Victory Margin fighting back gamely. Victory Margin digging in. Sonoran Sunrise, sundown score, and Hootie and the Fish. It's Sonoran Sunrise getting up on the outside. They come to the finish, and Sonoran Sunrise wins it from sundown score. Tight for third, 154 and one. official for the sixth race, the Father Foley, returning to the winner's circle, number two, Sonoran Sunrise. Eight-year-old gelding by Royal Prestige out of Dame Casson by Super Bowl. He's owned by Bill Emmons and Pat Tortorello from New Jersey, trained by Armand Bernard, Luke Ouellette in the Sulky. That's four in a row for Sonoran Sunrise. He swept both of his legs of the Father Foley and wins the final in a stakes record mile of 154 and one fifth. Standing by in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, Pat Carley, Earl Spence, Anne and Peter Bange making the Father Foley presentation to the connections of Sonoran Sunrise and the winning driver, Luke Willett. Number two, Sonoran Sunrise pays six dollars, four twenty, two ten. Finishing second, number four, Sundown score, six twenty, two twenty. And third, number three, victory margin, 210 to show. The 2-4 exact at 28 even, 2-4-3 try, 79-20. Pick three of 612, $139.80. Standing by in the winner's circle momentarily, we'll head down to Bob Hayden with the winning connections. We're in the winner's circle here with the Father Foley, Luke Ouellette, and part owner Bill Emmons. Luke, uh, Sonoran Sunrise, uh, tell us a little bit about the trip you got here. You left out of there in a pretty good hurry. Well, this horse, he can leave the gate real good and usually gets position. So, uh, you know, I, I thought I'd get around to one and possibly Mike would make a move on me and from there we'd get a trip. But uh, that's pretty much what happened. Coming to the uh, 5 8 there, uh, Rum Boogie was second over, but uh, if she keeps up to her cover, you're in trouble there or no? Uh, I think so, because I, I'm not sure if the rail opened up, but I haven't been very lucky all week, so maybe uh, my luck was just coming today. Well, Sundown Score looked like you had something to say about it in Deep Stretch there. Tell us about the final 50 yards. Yeah, no, that, uh, the, the four was uh, trotting real good in the lane, but my horse was still trotting on pretty good. Okay, Luca, like congratulations. Bill Emmons, Sonoran Sunrise, eight years old. How long you had this guy? Uh, we bought him in uh, September of 99. 
Okay, now uh, he's been, how good has he done? Last year we see 15 starts. This year, a lot of it's 11 wins now and 25 starts. Yeah, that, yeah, he's done great for us. Uh, Armin Bernard's done a great job for him. Uh, Scott West bought us his horse uh, back in September '99 for a good price, and uh, Armin's done great. Um, the horse had a throat operation last year, that's why he stopped racing last May. I see the recent addition of Lasix also. Uh, he put Lasix on about three starts ago, and he's been great. Okay, well, tell, tell us about some other horses that you have here with Armin. Uh, Armin uh, races a horse chai for us, and we've had horses passed. Uh, my partner, uh, Pat, has uh, Stampede Hanover, and uh, I've been with Armin for 12 years. He's Where does Sonoran go from here? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, Pat has another horse, another race. We're not sure how we're going to do it. Uh, probably go back to Dover and race a few, and probably race in the opens here a couple times before the uh, meet ends. Okay, congratulations. Bill Emmons, Pat Tortorella, Armin Bernard, Luke Ouellette, the winners, Sonoran Sunrise, and Father Foley. Thanks, Holly. Here's the order of finish for the sixth race, top down, 4-1-3, 2-5, 7-8, 6-9, Scrant.